Today's top stories at NBR, Ports of Auckland lifts first half profit. Red Stag Chief claims business community is behind him for supporting protest at Parliament. Harmony significantly increases forecast loan book and there's more coming right up. Kia ora and welcome to NBR Today, 100% subscriber funded and proudly brought to you by you, as is every story at nbr.co.nz. It's Monday, February 28th. I'm Paul Brennan. Thanks again for joining us. Restaurant Brands has declared an interim dividend for the first time since 2018 after hitting its $1 billion sales target in the 2021 financial year ending December 31st. Restaurant Brands CEO Russell Creedy said New Zealand had taken a bit of a COVID-related hit in sales, particularly during the first lockdown, but the overall health of the company was good. The NZX listed group operates a mix of KFC, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell and Carl's Jr. stores across New Zealand, Australia, Hawaii and California. Total sales of nearly $1.07 billion in the year for the group was up 19.7% from the previous full year 2020 result, while net profit after tax was up 69.3% to $51.9 million from $30.6 million. Genesis Energy, operator of the country's biggest thermal power station at Huntley, is talking up its role in renewable energy ahead of the government's national energy strategy document expected this year. Announcing flat interim results for the six months to December, Genesis said it was exploring biomass as alternative fuel for the currently coal-fired Rankin units at Huntley. This will be a pivotal year for the electricity sector and New Zealand's climate agenda, Chief Executive Mark England said. Ports of Auckland has lifted its first half profit, excluding valuation gains, by 9% as it moves to improve performance after a terrible 2021 financial year. Profit after tax for the six months ended December 31st, 2021 was $23.5 million, an increase of 72.8% from the previous year's results. The profit figure includes $8.6 million revaluation gain on investment properties and, excluding that gain, profit increased by 9.05%. The Auckland Council-owned port reported higher volumes across all cargo types, with container volume of 364,140 20-foot equivalent units, TEU, up on 358,899 TEU in the prior comparative period. Brake bulk volume, including cars for the period, was 3.910 million tonnes, compared with 3.153 million tonnes. Within that, car volumes were 129,924 units, compared with 104,224. Despite receiving a public grilling over his support of the Parliament protest, Red Stag Chief Executive Marty Verry claims the business community is behind him and his view on the need for border reopening. Verry says he's copped both flack and praise since his op-ed, entitled Marty Verry, I'm a protest funder, here's why, ran in the NZ Herald last week. He said he chipped in to help his mates out with a minor amount. Red Stag, a wood processing company, is owned solely by very family interests. The company also owns a Christchurch property development. COVID lockdowns and restrictions in New Zealand and more parents keeping kids at home by choice meant Evolve Education's lost $6 million in revenue from parent fees in the year to December 31st, 2021, the company says. Lockdowns and COVID restrictions were in place for more than 16 weeks in Auckland last year, as well as for several weeks in Northland and parts of the Waikato. Evolve is New Zealand's second largest early childhood education, ECE operator, and is expanding into Australia. Of its New Zealand 109 centres, down from 111 last June, 45 are in Auckland, among them some of the largest in its group. Harmony has significantly increased its forecast loan book for 2022 and expects to be profitable this year, with its Australian business set to overtake New Zealand lending over the same time frame. And while Chief Executive David Stevens said it continues to monitor cumbersome, tighter responsible lending rules, which saw a slowdown in originations at Harmony in December and January, the Auckland-based financier is confident loans are bouncing back. The ASX and NZX-listed consumer lender today, Monday, announced pro forma revenue of $42.6 million in the six months ended December 31st, up 3% on the previous year. That came as new customer originations rose to a bumper 224, with its overall loan book up 19%.
The full details of those stories and more are at nbr.co.nz right now. Tomorrow at NBR, in his Playing the Ball column, Martin Devlin sees the US women's national soccer team pay decision as a landmark. But not for everyone. Football firms deserve no pay parity. Find out more tomorrow. I'm Paul Brennan. Join me again from around lunchtime tomorrow for the morning's NBR trending stories. Then again from 5.30 right here for another NBR Today.